In this video, we are going to see how we can solve equations involving complex numbers. Anytime you are given an equation which involves a complex number, first of all, let's take the standard form of a complex number, which is a plus bi. We know that our a is a real number and our b is our imaginary number. To solve an equation which involves a complex number, you simply equate the real parts and then you equate the imaginary parts. Let's consider this example. Given that 8 plus 15i equals 2x plus 3y i. Find the values of x and y. To find the value or the values of x and y, the first thing you have to do here is that you have to compare the real parts at the left hand side to the real parts at the right hand side. And comparing, we can see that at the left hand side, the real part is 8. And at the right hand side, the real part is 2x. So dividing through by 2, x equals 4. We can now take the imaginary part. So we have 15i equals 3yi. We can divide through by 3i. So the i can cancel out and the 3 2 can cancel out. We have y to be equal to 5. So 3, 3 i cancels 15 i, 5. So we have y to be equal to 5. So the values of x and y, x is 4 and y is 5 respectively. Let's take another example. Given that 24 minus 12i equals 3x plus 6yi, find the values of x and y. So we can compare the real part to the real part and then the imaginary part to the imaginary part here. By doing so, we have 24 equals 3x dividing through by 3 we have x to be equal to 8 and then we have negative 12i equals 6yi we can divide through by i to get rid of the i so we have negative 12 equals 6y since we want to make y the subject we divide through by 6 then we have y to be equal to negative 2 let's consider this practical example so given that z1 equals a plus 3 i minus 4b plus 3bi and that z2 equals 3a minus 2b plus ai so find the values of A and B. If Z1 is equal to Z2. So we have equations. We have an equation here which involves a complex number. And over here, we know that Z1 is equal to Z2. So the first thing that we need to do here is that we have to equate Z1 to Z2. So comparing Z1 to Z2 gives a plus 3i minus 4b 
plus 3bi equals 3a minus 2b plus ai the next step is is that we have to group the imaginary part and the real parts at both sides so at the left hand side we have a minus 4b plus 3i plus 3bi equals 3a minus 2b plus ai a minus 4b plus 3 plus 3b into back uh, almost blind i the i is a common factor here and we can factorize that one out so is equal to 3a minus 2b plus ai We can now compare the real part. So at the left hand side, this is the real part, and at the right hand side, this is the real part. We can now equate the real part. So equating the real part gives a minus 4b equals 3a minus 2b. A minus 3a. a minus 3a is equal to negative 2b plus 4b so we have negative 2a to be equal to positive 2b dividing through by negative 2 gives a to be equal to negative b let's name this equation 1 Taking the imaginary part, we have 3 plus 3b equals a. But we know from equation 1, we already know that from equation 1, our a is equal to negative b. We can go on and substitute into our equation. So that gives 3 plus 3b equals negative b. three equals negative b minus three b we have three equals negative four b dividing through by negative four we have b to be equal to negative three on four so since a since a is also equal to negative b so we have a to be negative into bracket negative 3 on 4 that gives a value of 3 on 4 therefore the values of a and b is 3 on 4 and negative 3 on 4 respectively